Serve with point. You'll feel at home here in no time. Now let's check in with Cyrus. Come on, the harbour master's office is just through here. Wait, what's going on? Stand down! Don't you know who that is? But sir, Lady Ashvane ordered... Lady Ashvane? Do you serve Lady Ashvane? Is that Lady Ashvane's crest upon your shield? No, sir. No, you serve Colteris. You wear the crest of Proudmoor, and you take your orders from me. Now stand down and let them pass. We shall parley in my office. Aye, sir. Let them through. King Greymane, it is an honor. You are free to remain in the harbor on my authority. Talia, prepare a full briefing for our guests. Aye, sir. These old bones still ache for battle. Catherine Proudmoor turned us away and had her own daughter cast out as a traitor. Why would you help us? Hmm. Humor an old knight for a moment, would you? I was in a battle many years ago. It was... the Second War? Tough to keep them all straight. An orcish juggernaut struck our transport. Splinters from the gunwale ripped across the deck and tore into a friend of mine. Should have been his ticket home, but he was a stubborn one. Refused to leave before the war was won. So he patched himself up and told the healers he was fine. A few days later, he woke up screaming and drenched in sweat. Infection had eaten away at his insides. My friend never saw another sunrise. By the time he asked for help, it was too late. Kultira still bears the scars of the Third War. No one feels this more deeply than Catherine Proudmoor. But she is misguided. Her advisors have kept her blind to the infection that is spread throughout our kingdom. The land I love is falling apart, so I'm asking for your help. Kulteris needs the Alliance just as badly as you need us. I see. Then we shall prove to Catherine Proudmoor the same truth that I learned at great cost. In unity, there is strength. Well met. <laughs> <laughs>